Okay, so I um, got a request from one, no that's not one, sorry, Elbori1, is the username, for to say the PC would be available on the STI, see where it's located. And we're going to do that, and we're also going to show you where it is on a Toyota Sequoia. But we thought we'd go over the PCV system, so you can find it on any vehicle. Yay! So, <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, we're going to start on why is it you need the PCV system. And, um, well, in your engine you have expanding blow by gases. And what that means is that when your piston is coming up to compress the air fuel mixture, a little bit of air is going to go by the, the rings. Um, and then when it's blown back, and a little bit more is going to go by. So you have all sorts of stuff um, hanging out in your, in your engine. <clears throat> and you need to, a way to ventilate that, because otherwise you're going to fill your uh, engine compartment with lots of bad combustible gases. So it's like, say your exhaust gets super, super hot, you can just fire. But, um, or you get an oil leak, you know, just because there's nowhere else for the air to go and it's going gonna, it's gonna to find a way out. So they put the PCV system, and basically what it is is that um, the clean air comes in, or sorry, the air, outside air comes into the air filter, gets cleaned, comes into the uh, valve cover, and then it works its way down, like kind of like along with the oil, how the oil just goes in because that's where you fill the oil. Um, and the air collects the all the blow by stuff and then it's it's suctioned up through the vacuum through the other head um, through the PCV valve which is a check valve um, up through the vacuum um, and back into the intake and then it gets recycled um, through the intake and so a lot of that um, unused air fuel mixture and stuff is going to get used and it goes out cleaner out the exhaust. Yay, better fuel economy, better um, gas mileage. No, that's the same thing. But <laughs> anyway, either way, um, the PCV valve actually has a restriction in it and when you're idling it's it's more closed and then when you're you know going highway speeds it's more open um, to compensate for um, the amount going by. And you may think hey, <laughs> I don't have blow-by, I have a brand new car, or I just I just rebuilt my engine, I don't have any, well, yeah, I do, because they're not, su those rings aren't suctioned to the walls of the cylinder, they're, they're just little metal rings, right, they're not, you know, there's no, like, you know, you don't hear <laughs> every time it goes, because it's, a little bit of air goes by, and that's just all there is to it. So, um, everyone has some and that's why we need them. So when do you know when your PCV valve is bad? It's when you have oil on your air filter. Because the oil, it's not, if it can't get up this way, say the PCV valve is too dirty and it can't get to the vacuum, well it's going to go the other way around because um, it needs a, needs a way out and it's going to go through the air filter and get dirty. So, but also I look and see just how gunked up my PCV valve. Anytime I'm doing anything with my engine, I'm going to check it. And it's a really cheap part and generally really easy to get to. So um, we're going to show you um, where this is on the Toyota Sequoia first and then we'll go out to the SDI. Okay. So this is an engine out of a Toyota Sequoia, Sequoia of 2004. Um, well, that's what it's going into. But anyway, here we've got our air intake. Um, and so here at the throttle body, we've got a hose going in. Yep, there's your PCV valve under this rubber boot here. It will, um, you know, that's where it is. But then you also have this hose here also goes into the cylinder the other cylinder head, and where does that go? Well, it hooks up to the uh, air filter. So, or the air box. <laughs> and that's where the clean air goes in. That air comes out. So, uh, let's show you what a really nasty looking PCV valve looks like. This is the engine we're taking out of. And here it is all nasty and yuck. 
Now on the other side, you can see where it's just an or just a just tubing. There's no restrictor or anything in that whatsoever. And on some cars, you can remove those too. And some people would be confused that that's the PCV, and that's leading up to our example on the STI. <laughs> so what do we have here? Oh, I didn't know your phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay, so this is the intake uh, manifold for a 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Do you see how nicely I said that compared to the last time? <laughs> now you guys are so proud. So <clears throat> here's the throttle body. And we looked online to see where people said that it was the PCB valve. And they said, oh, it's just under it to the, to the left. Well, no, that's actually not. We took it out and it's just piping. It's just a nipple. Good look. It's, it's a nipple. But uh, so we're going to go out to the car that this came off of and show you where it actually is. Okay. So here's this our little STI. Um, and if you see, here was it. Okay, this is what plugs into that nipple I showed you. <laughs> sure not the nipple. Some of you want to see, but you're not going to see it, so too bad. Um, anyway, this is what goes in underneath the throttle body. Follow that back and there's a T. Right before that T is, um, is the PCV valve. See them right here, the, where you would put a wrench to it right there. So that's actually where it is. It's underneath and I can't imagine I would just change this anytime you have to get into it, but according to one thing online, and I'm not saying it's the right thing, but it says that there's no nothing needed to be done with the PCV valve on a 2004 STI, but you know, I would still change it intermittently. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that's that's that. So apparently, we had some requests that I had had my own video without Brian in at all. <laughs> because I'm better looking but um so we appreciate the requests and um you can throw out requests if you want from time to time we won't always film because we don't have time um to to do all of them but you know if it sounds, something sounds interesting or fun then hey we may do it so uh if you like the video click like um be sure to subscribe and please leave some comments in the comment section below thanks